guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today. Welcome back to Tully Zoo, which is our franchise zoo that we've been playing on hard mode for quite a while. And we've been trying to take lower quality animals, breed them up into higher quality animals, and overall just kind of make a successful zoo on hard mode. But before we get started today, because I do have a plan, uh, I want to talk to you guys for a second. And to be quite honest, just Thank you. Uh, by the time this video goes out, I hit 10,000 subscribers today. And it feels very strange to say that I hit that number because it is quite literally made up of 10,000 of you guys. 10,000 of you guys subscribing, watching, enjoying the content, and just overall supporting uh, the videos that I'm making. And I really, honestly, I cannot thank you guys enough. I am so excited and it, it really hasn't quite hit hit me just yet exactly what 10,000 of you means, um, but I'm beyond grateful. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm very excited to announce that our kind of question and answer face reveal stream 10,000 celebration is going to be this Saturday, November 6th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys are around and can drop by this stream, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it and love to see you guys there. Um, this is what we've been working towards for 10,000. I've kind of dangled this carrot in front of your guys' faces and I'm finally going to deliver on that. So 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday the 6th uh, will be our face reveal question and answer video. So with that out of the way, um, I have done a little bit of work here and I am gonna pause it before things get too much worse. But if you take a look here, not at that, because that is atrocious. But if you look at the guest education, last time we were having a struggle where see, these are not actually counting as education. These education boards are not lighting up blue. So I did a little bit of an experiment and I replaced some of them with just uh, uh, the boards that don't come together. Like I, I made this out of the two pieces. If you see here, there's an education board that comes all together, the education board set, but then there's also just the legs and then the board itself. So what this is, is myself putting down the legs and then putting down the board and putting it together. And it does register as education. So actually, if we go back to that map, I did that for the lemurs. I did that for the aardvarks. I did that for the caiman, the jaguar, and the clouded leopard just to see how, uh, if it would make a difference. Um, and so far, I mean, I haven't let it play, so that's why all those guests are still angry, but obviously all those are blue and they're counting. Um, these ones, do billboards like this not count as education unless you, I guess, talk about this hippo, I guess? Like so, or, oh, I guess you could assign it to that habitat. Okay, great. Does that count as, no, it doesn't. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. Those are just for decoration. Um, but anyway, so I thought that's what we would kind of start with. You guys also had other fantastic suggestions in that, yes, deleting the paths and stuff like that was causing the congestion at the front, but hopefully these paths do work and make everything flow a little bit better. Um, ATMs was a huge suggestion. So you guys said that we needed way more ATMs all throughout the zoo. And I agree because I've completely forgotten about ATMs. So I'm going to go ahead and actually handle these because we have some very angry rhinos over here. <laughs> I think there's way too many of them. Yeah, not enough space. But let me see. Can I actually click on where is the habitat door for this one? Um, I don't actually remember where I put the habitat door. Is it over here? I completely forgot. Oh, well, so let's go ahead and look at our uh, our southern white rhinos because we need to take them, uh, get them taken care of. Dangerous fighting is that. Oh, this is the jaguars over here. That's right. OK, so jaguars and southern white rhinos are the ones we have to take care of first before we get started on anything else. Let's go southern white rhino. So we have alpha here, which I feel like as soon as I label everybody or like at least as soon as I feel like I've labeled everybody, uh, I find animals that I haven't labeled. <laughs> I'm just that bad at it. So unknown father, unknown mother, and the child is this one here. Okay, that makes sense. So let's see you. Do you have, eh, you're just kind of run of the mill Southern white rhino. I feel so bad saying that, but there's nothing too super special about you. So let's go ahead and release you into the wild. 
great. And then let me double check because I don't actually remember, is one male and two females okay for these guys? Yes, it is. Um, perfect. And then with that amount of space, oh, it's not the best. I actually, honestly, guys, I don't remember if I... Uh, adopted two females or I must have because they're not related, right? Because you're not, uh, you're not related to anybody. Yeah. Released into the wild. Okay. So you were mom, but let's take a look. Your genes are terrible. Yours are also terrible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and release her into the wild as well. Or at least, I mean, I guess I can't. Can I release you into the wild? No, I can't poop. <laughs> I wanted to be able to, uh, to release one of those guys in the wild and just have one male, one female. Um, but I guess I can't and I don't really want to sell them. I guess that's the best thing to do. So label you as female. Let's go ahead and send you to the trade center and go take a look because then that would, God, they're both pooping at the same time. Uh, that would make our space obviously much, much better having just two and so they'll be much happier that way let's do southern white rhino again um and see you can i yes quick trade thank you okay so it was those guys and then the jaguars as well and i promise why am i scrolling I want to search for Jaguar. Uh, I promise we're going to do a bit of building uh, in today's episode. So, Habitat 9, Habitat 9. Why are you all in Habitat 9? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, wait. Yeah, that's the male. Hold on one second. That's the female. So we want you guys in the trade center is what we want. Trade center. Yes because those other two are the ones that I have labeled. I wish it would save your search. I've been saying it over and over again. <laughs> uh, so these two, let's go over there. These two should be the only two in the habitat. Um, you guys are not related. Okay, those two are their children. Aha, I see. Um, but they grew up, so that's why they're upset. But look at this, you guys. This one right here uh, is a is a gold one. That's awesome. So I'm going to label this one as storage because when these two retire, we'll keep this one and then we will um, we'll get another uh, female. But these two, I'm going to go ahead and release to the wild since we don't need them. Go ahead. Great. That's awesome. And now in here, we should have two very happy jaguars let's click on click on the enclosure there and see what is wrong with you you're hungry but male male female reading those right right because we had that embarrassing moment where i put a female in here like three times in a row but male female see got it right okay great so those guys should be happy traded out of the zoo fantastic this is vet research what did we get more diseases and some tiger stuff Great. What's on here? Animal is stressed. We'll go hide. Get out of the get out of the stress zone. Is this one-way glass? No, of course it's not. <laughs> that would be too smart of me. Well, it seems to have fixed itself, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Vet research is complete. Hello. Thank you. Uh, more diseases. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, there was one other thing that I was gonna do, but. I think what I'm going to start with is kind of just spamming uh, ATMs because we don't have nearly enough of them. So let's put one here. Actually, I like it over here better. Let's put it, well, maybe over here. I don't want to get in the way of the line. Okay, yeah, we'll put it there. That's fine. But you know what? Let's do this in a methodical way. Let's do this starting from the beginning and the entrance and see where we can fit some. So I got one there, one there. That's great. Here's some education, education. Let's do an ATM here and here. Great. Now we are approaching the, what are these? Meerkats and tortoises. Let's go ahead and put a... ATM kind of around the corner right here, I think would be good. Maybe this one can be like in the rock. Great. Like it's built, built into the facade there. And we'll put 
put one right there, right next to the donation bin, so you guys can get some money out and then immediately spend it at the zoo would be great. Um, let's put one over here just because people seem to be going that way and obviously eventually we'll build that way. Um, over here by the Elefantes, let's put two maybe around the corner there and there because we have these new uh, facilities over here and we didn't put trash cans, which is my fault completely. So let's go ahead and put some trash cans over here now that we have some facilities and because the guests are gross and clearly just don't care uh, about the looks and the welfare of the zoo. Let's go back to guest facilities and ATMs. Go ahead, see all these, um, all these edu education boards are blank as well and uh, they shouldn't be. Let's go ahead and put one and two over there and over here, put some as well. Now we're back to uh, up, up here was where we kind of started. So that kind of covers, I think, that half nice and rainy so we really cannot see what i'm doing at all i apologize <laughs> um but if we go this way let's put a couple on this back end as you walk through here i think um not quite i don't want it quite into the fence like that but i guess i don't really have an option because the fence is really close to the path unless we bring them out and we do it here and here and delete that one great now coming over here they're really are you guys seriously viewing the flamingos from this why why would you choose oh i do not understand i guess it's because they don't register these trees huh oh penguin died man lost a penguin so sad i'm putting atms though so that's what we're going to worry about right now just so that we can make sure everybody wow look how cool this is all the umbrellas out I don't think I've ever actually paid attention to that before. That's that's actually kind of pretty cool. I like that. I like all the little uh, umbrellas. Let's go ahead and put... Uh, there's one right there, but maybe we can just kind of sneak one... Sneak one next to this bench right there. Great. Okay. And then moving along here, do we have any over by the Cayman? We don't. Maybe put a couple by the bathroom. We cannot. We can put one there, though. Great. We're just going to spam these everywhere so people have no excuse. We should actually probably get a couple by these, I almost said by these feeders, <laughs> by these uh, uh, vendors and things like that so that they can buy food. Um, are there any over here? There's not. Maybe we put one right here. I feel like this one feels out of place, but I'm going to put it there anyway. And then going out to our tigers and our big cat area, we should probably put a couple here. And we didn't put any trash cans out here either. So we need those because look, there's already disgusting trash all over the place from our lovely, lovely guests. Let's see. There's a trash can there. Okay, awesome. So hopefully that will help that. Has our education gone up at all? Not too terribly much. Um, I know, I'm aware. Please, please go get him so he doesn't have to sit dead in the enclosure. Oh, two of them died. Oh, man. Wow, did we just adopt old... Um... Why have you been in a box? Unbox. You shouldn't be in a box. Goodness, did we just adopt old penguins? Or uh, we have those ones for a while. Vet research is complete. Southern white rhino, great. Let's take a look at our African penguins while we're thinking about it, just so that we can make sure that we have enough of them. African penguin, oh gosh, we do have a lot of them. Um, so these two are the ones that died. That was our male. You're also a male. You guys are all in the habitat, so I think we're all fine. These guys are babies, obviously. Um, you're a baby, and I'm actually going to take the babies and put them all on contraceptives that way we don't get any chance of inbreeding um you guys are the old ones you're infertile anyway but you're on contraceptive so now we have male female so we only have one breeding pair male female so what we'll do i think is we'll wait for these guys to either have more babies or get older and then we'll kind of sort through sort through these guys once they get old enough okay cool so, 
Uh, education is what I was going to address next. So let's see. I pretty much got all of these ones over here. That's not powered. So we actually need a source of power over there. And I think I'm kind of just going to do a wind turbine. That way I don't have to worry about hiding it. And uh, we can kind of just stick it and maybe blend it in over here once we go further with this path. But that will take care of that. Uh, now that is all lit up. Great. Um, let's see. Let's go back to our map here and education. Not guest needs, education. Uh, the Okapis are good. I don't think the pygmy hippo ones are working. No, they're not. So see, this one is not working here. So we need to get rid of that one. Um, is there one over here? There is that one. I'm just going to go through and delete them and then we can kind of re-put them there. I don't have any education on the stick insect or the leaf insect, excuse me. Um, the penguin ones I don't think are working. Yep, because I don't see any blue. Get rid of that one. Is that the only one over here? Maybe we could do with a couple more. So let's get facilities. Let's do the, the uh, habitat or the exhibit one first down here so that I don't forget about our poor leaf insect. Let's go ahead and put this right up against the glass so that we can get some education about you. Lower you down because I actually don't like how tall those are. Perfect. And let's go ahead and assign you. Is there really nobody in here? Did our leaf insects die? They sure did. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get more of them. Uh, the refresh filters and we want leafs, leaf insects. Uh, we have a female, great, and a male, great. So go ahead and throw you guys into there. Now we should be able to assign the education. Perfecto. Okay, and then we want to grab my newly made little blueprint thingy over here and duplicate that, bring it to the pygmy hippos so that we can get uh, some education over here. Um, but like I said, I promise we will do some building in this in this episode. I just want to get some of this education hopefully taken care of and that way we can kind of just let it play and fix itself. Um, but I'm really, really hoping this will make a severe improvement on our uh, education rating. I mean, it should because we're going from having what the game thought is no education to lots of education because those boards just weren't registering. Um, I've been told it's just a bug. So hopefully Frontier fixes that soon because it's kind of a bummer. Um, easy workaround though, right? Because we have the ability to basically make the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these on here and I'm not being super precise with these. I'm kind of just gonna throw them um, in the surrounding areas so that people can come up and look and get educated. Um, but it is going to take, I think, a little while because the guests that are already in the zoo have been in the zoo for, uh, for a while. Um, and so hopefully they'll start to look at the education and, uh, and change their minds about the zoo. Uh, Greater from Lingo is about to die. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Oh, there's another one over there. So let's get rid of that one and duplicate this one and see over here. I mean, despite our issues, we still have what, like four and a half stars. I think that's awesome. We're only about half a star away from, uh, from five stars, which is, I think is just great. Um, what's over here? The fennec foxes. Now, are these counting as education? They are not. Shocker. Let's get rid of you and grab another. I still really like that fennec fox habitat. Super proud of it. I know it's like a super kind of easy, simple, quick habitat, but I just, I like the little details I was able to add with that one. I don't know. I just, I really like it. And I just, I kind of like the fennec foxes. So maybe that's it is I just like, I like the fennec foxes. I like their, um, what's it called? The, just kind of the aesthetic of their kind of habitat needs and stuff like that. I really, I like, let's go ahead and put another one over here since people seem to be stopping over here as well. And we can kind of get a little bit more education. Why do we have protesters? Goodness. Like I said before, you guys go from zero to 60 in like no time at all. Um, trade center, please. Goodness gracious. No need to attract some protesters. You just needed to give me a minute. I got too many problems to fix and it's only me. Okay, let's see what else is happening. Uh, Flamingo died, which is bummer. 
but vet has come to get you. You're already in a box. Great, awesome, fantastic. Now, I know it's not gonna show immediately, but if we go back to guess and we go to education, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Maybe, you know what? Should we put some general education out front? I mean, I don't think that can hurt, right? If we just kind of put some general education boards um, and then maybe people will, maybe people will educate themselves as they're walking in. Cause don't they start, they start bad and they get higher education as they go through the zoo. Isn't that the idea? Um, but we can totally add some here and here as people walk by fighting for alpha status already let's see why are you fighting for alpha status female female you're in the trade center you're in the trade center scroll down please because i need to see the rest of you uh you i think yeah you're the sun so to the trade center with you great who was that perfect oh yeah you guys are fighting stop he's gone now you don't have to be upset um Ba, ba, ba. We got something. Oh, great. Exhibit species adopted. Fantastic. Now, back to education is the name of the game on this episode. Not the whole episode, though, I promise. Let's go ahead and stop you from aligning to surface, please. Because I want to basically put you down right here. Right here. The other thing that you guys were saying is that a work zone for vendors is not a bad idea. So I might have to look at doing that. I probably won't do that on camera though, because I don't want to spend all of our time, um, all of our time with management stuff today. I do want to, I do want to build a little bit. Yeah, see, that's not bad. So if we just kind of duplicate this and bring it over to this side as well, and kind of get that there and then maybe we'll change the education so they're not like exactly the same bring you around here perfect oh we're getting a little little laggy today which i don't know why tali zoo is not normally that way no hello i want to change your education repair the ozone layer is perfect and whoops um, population fragmentation is an important one. Okay, great. So now, hopefully, look at that. Already learning. Already learning. Right when you come in the gates, you cannot deny that we don't have education now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that will help. It looks like we're back in the green. Um, our zoo ticket refunds have gone down because remember, they were so high last time. Um... So hopefully that will continue on an upward trend. Uh, dang it, it's gonna rain and I was gonna start a speed build and now I can't because it's gonna rain. <laughs> How much more education do we have to get to? Oh my gosh, look at this. Basically everything past here didn't count because we already replaced all of those Wow, no wonder education was so bad. I wish I would have noticed that sooner. I mean, I guess I could have been paying attention more to the heat map and stuff like that, but the fact that it's a bug, I really, I kind of don't want to accept blame. Is that bad? <laughs> Should I be accepting the blame for that? Because I really, I don't know. I really don't feel like it was our fault because I prepared and I had education at every single habitat, but it just wasn't counting. So I don't feel like, I don't feel like that was our fault. Um, but like I said, hopefully this is, hopefully this is fixing it. I'm gonna do, let's actually speed up time so that while I do this, hopefully it will get to be sunny and we can start our, um, maybe not speed build, but uh, just some building. Cause I don't really wanna build in the rain. Um, I don't want this whole group, please. I want, I want just the whole thing together to bring you out here and replace the education right there. Just kind of a tedious pain in the butt that we have to do all this, that we have to change it, right? Because it just, we already did it once and now we're having to do it again, which is quite annoying. Okay, it's cloudy. Hopefully it'll go to sunny here in just a minute. Um, see, they, so did you see those guests? We're looking at that one but it wasn't counting as education. So I wonder if those guests were looking at it, but then it didn't, 
it didn't add to their education at all. Um, which is, again, just very, very annoying. Click that there. Let's get rid of you. And I think that should do it for... I'll put one over here just so that it's by the, um, by the donation bin. Right there. Uh-oh. Dangerous fighting due to overcrowding. Did we have a baby grow up? I'm pretty sure we must have. Uh, you... Who grew up? Who was the baby? Who was the baby? Or are you... You're an adult, but you haven't... Are you just a tiny adult? No. I think you haven't grown up yet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at our tigers. I think there's only three of them, but I like using this list a little bit better because it, it helps me be able to see. Uh, yeah, so you need you need to grow up and actually you're not bad so let's go ahead and just put you in storage once you do actually go through your maturing animation so can you do that now that would be awesome uh, if you can oh there we go perfect all i need to do was box you and unbox you let's go ahead and put you in the trade center and who got injured why were you fighting those your your wife like i just why there's no point um, vet urgently assigned, please go ahead and take care of that. Okay. So it's actually nice and sunny. So let's do, let's do some building. Um, so we wanted cougars, right? So I want to basically take this, what we have already, um, and kind of continue with that look because it'll just keep it cohesive and it'll also work really well with the, um, overpass that I have planned because it kind of is using the same, um, the same materials, right? So I think we'll just kind of start with this and we'll bring it around the front here and we'll just do lots of rocks with this one, I think, um, because I like rocks one, uh, but two, they are, they're easy to place and that makes me happy. <laughs> easy, easy things to place that look natural. And I do feel like zoos in general, just, I mean, they use a lot of rocks, right? For their, for their habitats anyway. Um, you know what? This can probably just be straight across, um, for this reason of keeping this all kind of looking nice and straight, get that lined up there. Perfect. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be the front viewing area there. Let's go ahead and duplicate this across. Um, I apologize that there's not going to be a time-lapse uh, kind of speed build part of this episode again. It honestly just is for sake of time. And I also promise that one day I will stop saying uh, that my work schedule is, is super crazy, but that will not probably be until, um, 2022. My work schedule is going to be crazy until the end of the year. Basically. Um, I've kind of already had to, to accept, accept my fate in that regard. Um, but happy to kind of do some re real time building with you guys and, and kind of talk with you and, and chit chat. Right. I think it's, it's nice to kind of sit down and talk through the process. And that way I can kind of show you guys, at least tell you guys what my thoughts are as I'm building. Um, to be quite honest, I don't normally have a whole lot of thoughts. Uh, I kind of just build as I go and put down things that look nice. Normally I'm, I'm watching a movie or, or, uh, watching the office or something like that. The office is my favorite TV show. Um, favorite kind of background noise TV show, mostly because I've watched it so many times that I kind of, I know what is happening so I can watch it without actually having to pay attention. Do you guys have shows like that um, where you put it on because you don't actually have to spend any brain power uh, listening to what they have to say because you kind of just already know what is happening in the episode uh, just by listening to it. Uh, that's why I like The Office so much is is because it is like that for me and I can kind of just space out to it after uh, a long day. Uh, if I've had like a stressful day or just a long day in general, uh, it's quite it's quite nice. Um, but I'm so upset. I was actually telling somebody today, uh, in fact, that they took it off of Netflix and I haven't watched Netflix in months and months and months because of that, because they, they took the office off and, uh, and that's, that's where I watched it primarily. So now that, now that they don't have it, um, I, I, uh, I'm not on Netflix all the time. 
Um, so this, we are gonna need to do some testing, but I am gonna build it to start off with. Can I have both of those, please? That would be awesome if I could. Um, can I click? Oh, come on. I want both of these. Uh, no, I want you and you and bring those two back. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. Let's bring you over enough so that you meet this kind of corner like that, I think will be good and raise this up like so. But yeah, we're going to have to do some testing with this just to make sure. Um, let me do this because I want to make sure it's the right height. So bring you like that, bring you up to the correct height. So everything is perfectly square because I don't know what the Cougars hitbox is. So I don't actually know if they're going to be able to traverse this uh, as it is. Now, as far as the bottom of this goes, do we want to use the corrugated, the corrugated metal or we could use something we could use something like this. Let me get this up and rotate it the right way. If we wanted it to be like a wood bottom thing, I think it more realistically would be metal, but let me just see how this looks. If it's gonna look too tiled and repeaty, I don't think I'll wanna use it. But let's just see here. Um, if we bring this across, let's flip it so that this one is the other orientation. Bring it that way. That doesn't look too bad. Um, I can probably bring these two over a bit and that way it's not, um, oh man, I'll do one at a time because then it's not on the, the grid correctly. Uh, bring you over and bring you over. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Let me double check because we want to make these the same color over here. So if I go to grow, oh, it's they're black. They're just, they look gray. Okay, well, that makes it easy. Fantastic. Let's grab all of these and just make them black and then they'll turn out gray. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. So let's just go ahead and take all four of these and... Dang it, they are not going to cooperate as far as moving around. So we're going to have to do this kind of sort of a long way. Fortunately, we don't have to be super precise because it does overlap with the uh, bars a bit. But let's go ahead and get this far as we can so it kind of covers most of the ground. We're not poking out anywhere, right? Great. Perfect. Oops. Dang it, I hate when I hit the wrong button. When you like just get something into place and you accidentally hit the wrong button and it goes away and you haven't actually placed it yet. So you can't hit control Z and bring it back. Uh, you're just kind of stuck um, with having to redo it. <laughs> One of the little frustrations in, in uh, Planet Zoo when I'm playing. Really, we still can't do these correctly? Oh well. Um, let's see then. Let's just bring all of these over so that we can, um, get them all lined up. Hello, can I select you all on the edge of here? Would be nice. Let's bring it back just a little bit. Perfect. And then maybe what we can do, can we slide this whole thing? Yes. Perfect. Actually, in fact, before we do that, I want to see if we can do an upright beam, right? It would need some sort of support uh, so that it's not just, so that it's not just uh, the horizontal ones, right? We need some vertical ones that would hold it in place. Is that tall enough? Just barely, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and put that right on the edge there and then bring it over here right on the edge here and each side will have a better frame um but this is just for the upright why is that one kind of off that's gonna bother me bring you in just like that you look fine right yeah okay so then change these to the correct color is awesome now, if we duplicate this whole thing, we have a beam in the middle, which will help hide uh, the gap with the uh, fencing, which is awesome. Well, yeah, that's fine. It'll help hide it like that. Great. Perfect. 
and then bring this across again and make a little overpass. How perfect would it be if the uh, the cougars could use this exactly how it is? Like if we just like nailed it first try, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> uh, again, not optimistic on that, but uh, one can hope, one can hope. Now, I need to make sure that these are low enough because I want to situate this walkway so that it's sitting on top of this rock and going across to over there. So that rock is good, but this one's in the way. So we're going to have to lower this one down. Uh, in fact, we're actually going to have to lower... Actually, we're going to have to lower this one all the way down like that and then this one down and then across. So it looks like this one is the supporting one, I think. Bring it up just a bit. Because the other... The other special thing we're going to have to keep in mind here, or the other detail is the traversable um, area on the rocks, is we want to make sure that the cougars will be able to get up onto the rocks to actually use this. So, um, I really like this. I think that looks great. Uh, I hope you guys agree. <laughs> but I think that looks awesome. Let's take these two and make the end cap pieces here. Um, 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 um. Actually, what if we did what if we did this and we rotated these so that it would rotate or that it would cover all of those. Yeah, I like that a little better. And then if we bring this up, it will meet it like that. Perfect. And then we just need to do one across the top. But these, the bars sink in the middle. So, oh, these are not following the, uh, the perfect symmetry, but that's okay. Perfect. We made that work. Awesome. Now, does it look weird if we have some in the middle like so, like as support ones? I actually kind of like it without it because that way you're just walking like directly underneath it. Yeah, I think I like that better. Um, but what we need to do is take one of these and we need to rotate it this way and bring it up so that we can finish off the little framing part here. We probably need to frame it on the other side or on, on the middle supporting parts too. So we'll do that, but we'll bring this across and do it like that. And then we can just duplicate this one and bring it all the way across. Um, I hope you guys like a little bit of, of real time building. Um, I get a few comments saying that you guys like seeing real time because it's easier to follow what I'm doing. And if you're somebody that is using the episodes as uh, kind of as tutorials, I guess, in order to, to learn how to uh, build a little bit better, um, I can see where that, that totally makes sense using the, the videos as tutorials so that you can kind of keep up right with, with what I'm doing and, um, and see the build process a little bit better and all the buttons that I'm hitting and things like that. Um, cause Planet Zoo, I will say has a very steep learning curve. Um, it took me a while, uh, to get the hang of everything, to understand, you know, what the buttons do and all the, the gizmo, the moving gizmo and all that kind of stuff. Um, having played Planet Coaster was a lot a lot of help um, in regards to that, but certainly still a learning curve with uh, with Planet Zoo itself. Let's go ahead and get some rocks in here like normal, just to kind of make it look like the um, cougars are not able to escape. We want to make it look like they are contained in their environment and rotate these rocks around so that we don't have a bunch of repeating patterns. Let me grab one of these natural rocks and bring it in here so that we have a little bit of differing textures. Uh, I probably need a smaller one, but that's okay for the outside, I think. Um, I do want to, however, bring another one down here just so that I don't have to worry about fixing this gate and having the, the fence attached to anything. Because if we put a rock here, then it looks like it was intentional. <laughs> then we don't have to worry about... Uh, fussing about the fence because it intentionally was just built into this rock. See? Perfect. Just like that. I am very happy with this habitat so far. Now, 
Hmm, what I'm thinking, is there another habitat that I've done? There's not. I was thinking if there was another habitat where I did like a rock wall, I kind of want to, I kind of want to bring the terrain up here and have like a, a back, a uh, rock wall back here. So if we actually take this and we duplicate it over here. What rock is this? This is the temperate rock. If we take nature and we go to rocks and we go to temperate, we're gonna make a little section of wall and then just kind of duplicate it all over the place so that we can make a very easy, very easy rock wall. Let's go ahead and grab a couple other little, little pieces. Um, what about you? I need you. Let's duplicate and remove from group. Perfect, bring you down over here so that we have some little pieces kind of sticking out so it doesn't look too tiled. Awesome, getting there, getting there. What if we grab this rock is a good kind of base, base wall rock right here and right here. I don't wanna make it too thick of a wall, but I guess I'm not super worried about it. That looks pretty good. And then what other little ones haven't we used? I haven't used this one. Can we actually kind of rotate this one in a bit like so? Just cause I do want it to look like, look like a man-made wall, right? Cause we, we want this to be, look like a zoo. Um, they're trying to make it look natural, but uh, it still has obviously been, you know, man-made and created for this habitat. Let's apply that and then grab all of these rocks and color them the same by copy and pasting, hitting enter and apply. Fantastic. I missed this one. Of course I did. <laughs> Colored that. Perfect. And let's grab this rock and kind of bring it over and kind of continue but rotate it because it's the same as the one right next to it. And I don't want it to look super tiled. I feel like that's one of like the main goals in building in Planet Zoo is you really just want to make it look like it's not, it's not tiled a bunch, right? Now, if we kind of select this and bring this over, but go back in and rotate a few pieces so that it looks like these are all hand placed and not duplicated. Things like height, like that, those two were the exact same height, so that makes it look better. Let's rotate this one so that it doesn't stick out the same way the other one does. Just kind of identifying which pieces look exactly the same, uh, which is, I mean, all of them, because it was duplicated, but which one's like really, like this right here and this right here, I can very clearly tell it's the same rock. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna rotate it around, but I'm not gonna go perfectly 180. I'm gonna do this one kind of at a skew. So now it doesn't look like it's the same repeating rock over and over again. Um, like these two rocks, I can very tell, easily tell that those two are the exact same thing, but if I rotate it and then kind of move it up and down side to side, I can get a, a different side of the rock, different texture. And now it looks way less tiled. We can take this whole thing and bring it over here and we can use this as our backdrop. And now that we've kind of accomplished the fact that it looks like it is, um, not repeating a whole bunch, we can just kind of duplicate it over again and kind of do the same process if we find some of these look exactly the same. I'm kind of gonna um, use these inside of one another, just like that. And I think that looks pretty, pretty dang good. Uh, we can go through and kind of do the same thing real quick uh, and bring these around, move them, stuff like that, lower, raise, just so that it doesn't look tiled, um, delete. Let's rotate this one a little bit because the ones that are sticking out are gonna be real obvious. And uh, my other thought too, with this, this kind of backdrop wall kind of thing is we can, we can take some greenery and some leaves and stuff like that. And that'll kind of really hide some of the tiling as well. Let's rotate this one because that one's really bothering me. Perfect. I think that looks great. Uh, I mean, maybe not, maybe not perfect, perfect, but I think it looks pretty dang good. Let's lower this just a little bit and we'll take 
this and bring it out so that there's like a little bit of a hill and then smooth it out but much bigger so that we get lots of smoothing effect perfect i think that is pretty good and then maybe we'll do like a little what walls did i use over here aha i used these ones i like these uh let's do the same kind of thing because the idea is that these habitats were built at the same time um part of like the same uh, same project and stuff like that. So we want to utilize some of the same pieces, which will help kind of sell the idea that it was like the same architect, you know, same people building, building each one. Let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit more drastically. So we get a little bit more of a curve on this one because it's not quite as wide of a habitat. Good, awesome, and then we can take the terrain and, whoa, not that big, bring it back up to here, like so, just like we did on the other one, like that. Um, kind of show off the wall a little bit though because I kind of covered it, covered it up, like that. What did I do on, did I put some leaves and stuff like that? No, I guess I just, I left the gap. That was the idea, it was to do some some foliage and some other rocks. Like if we take, um, maybe actually if we take this one and sink it, we might, might, yeah, like that kind of thing. Bring it up so that it matches the side and it can be kind of part it's a, I'm actually okay if it pokes out just a little bit um because I think it adds a little bit more variety to this wall that we're making right so let's do this kind of thing perfect like that awesome I like that and then did I make these into a group I didn't but let's go ahead and grab this kind of stuff over here these couple rocks and the foliage with it and we can use this one right here as the kind of edge edge piece on this side like that. And then let's actually grab, um, let's actually grab this one with the tree. I like this side. Uh, and we'll do this one on the other side there. Can I not, I gotta make it a group to duplicate it, fine. Let's rotate this one around like so and bring it down like that. And then this tree, I actually wanna bring back up. There we go, perfect. And did I actually miss, yeah, I missed the foliage, got buried under the ground. So bring this back up so that it's poking through and we can actually see it. Great, awesome, look at that guys. We have, we have pretty much a cougar habitat. So let's finish off the path and actually just quickly put down some uh, rock wall behind here so that we can get our cougars, we can get our cougars in. There we go. Um, let me think, how do I wanna do this? I guess, I guess we'll just do this. I guess, I guess I'll just take some of this over here and utilize it on here as well. We can always change it uh, if we don't like it, but I wanna make sure that we don't have escaping cougars. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it, you know what I might do is I might have this go right here and we will put the the entrance over here instead of it having being a path over here we'll we'll redo the barrier in just a second so we'll put that there and then i know we're encroaching on the <laughs> the okapi's enclosure so let's sink these back a bit so they're not quite so into into the other enclosure let's do that and that and i think that is okay and then yeah, that that, uh, that kind of just blends into the rocks that are over there, so that's great. Perfect. So then what we'll do is we'll take a barrier, we'll delete this, we'll delete, oops, hello, please stop. We'll delete you, yes, delete, we'll delete you, delete you, and delete you, perfect. And then we'll bring this over 
to, sure, we'll meet up with that one. And then let me, let's do the path and do the entrance first. Cause that's going to be the pain in the butt. If it doesn't want to go where I want it to go. Barriers, entrance, we'll do face this way, please. And let's do right inside here. We will build or at least maybe put a door on the rock so it doesn't look like they're just going through, <laughs> uh, morphing through the, the rocks that we placed there. Let's do right here and then across to this one. Perfect. Now we just need to alter this barrier so that it's all on the outside. And that looks pretty darn good. That looks pretty darn good, you guys. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of terrain painting because it's my favorite and I love this terrain paint. You guys, I got a lot of questions about this when we first started using it and it's just the light soil on the tropical maps. That's all it is, this kind of like bark and stuff. It's one of my, the reasons why I love building with the tropical maps so much uh, is because I get that terrain paint. Okay, cool. Let's, let's get our cougars. Animal trading. Let's go, wait, yes, cougar right here. Uh, reset filters, cougar. Let's see what we've got. Um, male right here. Awesome. And female right here. Awesome. Perfect. Let's go to storage and I'm just going to throw them in um, right to the habitat. We're going to speed it up and then I'm going to call this one because this is going to be a longer episode. Uh, so I apologize uh, for those of you that don't like long episodes, but I wanted to make sure we kind of got this stuff done. Uh, and without a time lapse, it did take a little bit of time. Why? What? Box outside of habitat for too long. You're supposed to be in the habitat. Why are you in a box over there? That doesn't make any sense. Boxed outside of a habitat. Why? What just happened? Why are they boxed on the floor? Hello, delivery scheduled. Thank you. Is somebody moving them? Or are they just going to be boxed on the floor forever? Uh, hopefully they're getting brought over here. Oh, yes. Okay, great. I don't, I have no idea what happened. Wow, this, this always happens. This looked so small to me. And now that we have the cougar in, now it looks massive. Um, let's just make sure that they can't escape real quick. Hello? No, I want animal welfare. No, I want habitat. Sorry, I was clicking on the wrong button. Okay, good. So they can't escape other than right there, but we can just fix that by moving the barrier like so oh okay apparently we can't move the barrier so the answer is more rocks let's get out of this let's take this middle part over here duplicate it and lower it down kind of blend it in over here like so great we'll we'll double check the okapi actually it's not even in the okapi habitat perfect awesome so there there is our cougar so yeah, guys, I, like I said, I enjoyed this episode, but it is a longer one. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. But we have, we have some cougars. We've continued our, our, um, our cat section. We've hopefully, hopefully done better at our education. We've got some ATMs. Let me know if I missed anything, if I'm forgetting anything. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again so, so much for 10,000 subscribers. I, I seriously, I can't thank you guys enough. And I'm super excited for our stream on Saturday. So please join me on November 6th, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I will see you then. Bye.